Well, hello everyone, and welcome back for more of Sly Cooper or Sly 4 Thieves in Time. We are in episode 1, turning Japanese, and in the last video, oops, I didn't mean to press the X button, we played as Bentley and Tailed El Jefe because he's stupid and he lets, you know, a lot of things out in the open. And, you know, he should probably learn to close his fucking mouth because he's dealing with a bunch of thieves. And I'm just going to talk through this. So, in this video, we are going to play as Ryoichi once again and deal with one of the things that El Jefe let slip, which was something about guards liking sushi. Now, I have to say, something I'm a little bit disappointed about this game is that, you know, we're kind of already coming to the end of episode one. I kind of really feel like that we haven't really done much here, though. You know, it's not like in episode four or five. Well, episode five, we I feel like we did a lot. Like in slide two, I feel like that when we like got to the operation, like we were closing house on everything. I guess maybe the reason why here is because it's just like, well, we are kind of pressed for time here and we don't have the time and the luxury that we did before. Then again, when did we? But still, it's like, you know, when you played through like the, the Operation Wet Tiger, you know, in slide two, like, you were cleaning house. Oh, no, no. Let's start Spike Sushi. And welcome back, everyone, to the Sashimi Cavern. Yes, we have another mission here. Let me get this. I don't... I I do not believe that the slime mask will appear over there in the back if you didn't get it in something okay, special. Okay, We need to collect samples from those strange plants growing high on the cave walls. Commonly known as the spiky wall climber, it secretes a biotoxin we can use to make sushi rolls that will put any guard to sleep instantly. Just be careful not to be overcome yourself. Bentley son, did I not explain? You're a ninja master. I know. I know. Hey, no. Allow me to show you how it's done. Well, now at least I know where Sly gets it from. Yeah, I kind of feel like this is somewhat of a padded mission. We can rid our land of this villainous tiger. Yes. But it's just, it feels more like a padded mission. Like, you know, it's its not like we're really doing much. And the admin, these guards have a really shit here. And look at this. I kill this guard. They don't fucking hear a thing. I've done this like a million times. So it's like, you know, it's like, okay, I'm going to kill this guard. And they're not going to hear anything. Like, seriously, how, like, I, and then I guess in slide two and slide three, guards really did have better hearing. Like, my goodness, their detection is fairly shallow. Uh, but maybe, again, that's because Ryoichi is a ninja master. Maybe because he can kill things silently. That might be a reason why I'm not entirely sure. So anyways, you're going to go up here. Uh, I just went over there because I was, I did that for like 20 minutes over there. I'm like, I'm jumping up on the spider. And... What the fuck was that? That's like <laughs> I don't this. that totally like derailed me. I have no idea what the fuck that sound was. Is it like Betty by time for El Jefe's goons or something? Like what the fuck was that? I don't know what that was, but it kind of freaked me out. Whatever, just continue to dragon leap. Well, could I not dragon leap? Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm like yeah, I know what to do here. Oh, I can wow, I can dragon leap to this. Dang. All right, I didn't. Know. I thought as long as you can land on with your feet. All right. Well. Two now. So any who the first one is over here. I mean these things are really hard. The blossom to extract the poison. Let's do a charge attack on it just because that'd be cool. Oh my god. Charge there we go. Yeah. Oh that was awesome! Alright, uh, there we go. And there you go, that's one of the poison thingies. Poison plant seed. All right, cool. And it's dead. It's it's just dead. Will topple even the largest enemy. That shiny Carvana is dead. Carvana. Uh, uh, Carvana. The, the the other ED that plant besides is. Victory Bowl. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, 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 oh shit! Wow. I totally did not see my charger. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That was cool. Hey, yeah, I got help. It's like I totally didn't even get hit. No, I did. Can we all stop? Oh boy, Carvana. I know it's not Carvana. That's a, that's the fish. Oh my god. I know nothing about Pokemon, guys. All right. So of course, like before, we gotta hit this spiky plant thing. By the way, 
<laughs> By the way, just to let you guys know, there are no slime masks in this challenge or in the next challenge. So if you think, oh, you skipped some, no, there aren't any in this. There will be some in the next mission, but uh, yeah, that's kind of about it. Can I do the chargey thing again? That was kind of cool. Oh, come on. Oh, I still hit it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't jump off. Oh, it's... Dang it. These thingies are back. Oh, it really doesn't matter, because the mission's over. I just realized. That's it. We're kind of done here. Yeah, sorry that wasn't really all that entertaining, but yeah, that's kind of about it for this mission. It's fairly short. Which means, of course, let's go get some treasures! Okay, treasure time, because that mission was really short. I timed it from the beginning of this mission to the end, and it was like four minutes. So that's unacceptable, so we're gonna keep, you know... We're gonna go get some more, uh, treasures. My god, I couldn't think of the word. Lately, I've just been like, you know, it's like I can't think of a word. I'm just going to substitute with something else. Like, I do that with the buttons, the braids, the bread, or heron. I don't know. I can't, like, do words talk with things. So, I'm trying. I'm trying my damnedest here. Because <laughs> I want to try to make, you know, this entertaining for people. But, God, I just cannot talk. Here we go, some alliteration. Very nice. The first treasure is right here. This is the one I was missing. I was looking around like, where the fuck is this thing? And so, uh, this is the Jade Peach. I know this just by looking at it. Right, let's see. I think I can do this if I make it back to the safe house. So you get 20, uh, 30 seconds. I almost said 30 minutes. I'm like, if, well, maybe I have 30 minutes. And, oh, 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 I could do that either. Right, 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 right. Come on, come on. No, that's the wrong way. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guard, 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 guard. Ah, I went the wrong way to here. There's another guard. I'm, um, yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured I wasn't going to make that. Yeah, dang it. All right, well, then I'm, I'm going to show you exactly what happens when you can't get it back in time. What happens? Stretcher has been lost. It will go back to the same exact place that you recovered it from earlier. So don't think it's going to, like, appear in a new location. That would be very cool. But even if it is, I mean, this level is fairly easy to explore. Well, at least once you're used to it. But, yeah, it's not that hard to really explore this level, so don't worry about it. But, yeah, it will always reappear back in the same place. Oh, God. Ivory chopsticks, for some reason, are the most expensive thing. These things are more expensive than the Kabuki mask. I have no idea why. Chop, well, I guess because they're ivory, and that's kind of important, considering like, this is Japan. Where are they getting ivory from? Like, And that seems kind of weird, considering the fact that, I, that I've seen elephant guards. So, well, I've seen elephants. So, you know, they're taking off the tusks of elephants? Like, my god. It's all in Japan. I guess that would make sense. Now, let's try this again. This time, we're going to make it. Go back through this way. You don't want to head over. No, no. No, that's not the way. I'm like, that's not the way. Wait, it is. No, it's not. Thank God. Alright, so, yeah, we'll, oh, we'll definitely make this in time. And I think, oh no, that's actually still fairly short. Alright. Well, I did get two treasures during the bottle video, and I will show those off. And I'll explain more about treasures. Uh, in that. Of course, because it's the fucking bottle video. Oh my god. Come on. Let's see. I, mar I marked where they are. I, I made my own, like, little handy dandy map. <laughs> my little handy dandy map, guys. And I marked out where all the places are of the treasures. So I'm actually gonna go get the last one right now. You haven't seen the last two because the, the last two after this because I got those in the bottle video. So I will show those off once I get them. Alright, let's see. Um, the treasure should be around here. Like, I honestly don't remember where this one is. This is kind of the one that was, like, really tricky. I think I just found it kind of, like, on a limb. And, like, I'm like, oh, hey, treasure. Alright, sorry, guys. I got interrupted there for a second. So, uh, I kind of had to pause there for a bit of a second. Because neighbors! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I was standing right in front of him, and he didn't see me? Damn, I got lucky. All right. Let me just walk around. That guy is blind. That is a blind guard. I'm sorry, but he's blind. I believe we get up here. And... Yeah, that's how I got up here. Okay. Okay, I was right. All right, good. 
So this is the other, the last treasure technique that I'm missing, but of course I haven't shown off the last two treasures. Probably say, oh, I don't know what, what fucking two first two treasures. I don't even know anymore. Let's just end off this video because I, eh, this video was bad. There is the last treasure. As you can see, they don't give you a lot of time for this one, but you can still make it fairly well. I, that's why I would recommend getting the uh, paraglider, guys. Paraglider will definitely help you. You will need it later on, but still get it now. And on the note of getting that, I think I'm going to end off the video here. So, next time on Sly 4 or Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, we are going to do the bottle video, finally. After so much talk about it, I'm going to do the bottle video for turning Japanese. It's going to be a long video, so sit tight through it, but I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. I'll see you guys next time.